Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've just sat down and filmed and talked to you guys. A lot has changed in both my life and the world in general since I filmed this video with Lisa that you guys are about to see. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are at home if you can be in social distancing, doing your part to slow the spread of the coronavirus. It's a crazy time for sure, but I'm really excited to get back into making content. And I'm actually gonna be posting two two new videos every week for at least for the next month. And then we'll see. Steven and I actually just moved into a new house. If you have been watching the vlog channel, then you already know that. If not, check out our moving vlogs, subtle plug, link in the description. But we're just gonna be on lockdown here at our new house, setting everything up, filming new things. So let me know down in the comments if you have any video ideas that you would wanna see me film that I can film just by myself or with Steven in our house without leaving. That would be great. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this video of Lisa and I trying on clothes from Reformation. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sierra and Lisa video. Oh, it's our anniversary today. It is. It's our collab anniversary. We did our first collab around this time last year. And you know what? Nothing has changed. Nope. <laughs> we haven't learned anything. We're still wearing clothes that don't fit us well. And we're still wasting a lot of money. <laughs> but today we're gonna waste money and not kill the planet. We are trying some sustainable clothing lines. On my channel, in this video, we're gonna be trying Reformation. And on Lisa's channel, we are trying H&M's Conscious line. So, a more affordable price point for sustainability. And then here, we're freaking breaking the bank. And I'm so excited <laughs> this part's on your channel and your bank account. RIP my credit card. If they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But like for real though, I do think that shopping sustainably is important. And one of the things that can be really hard is it's not always accessible. It can be really expensive. They don't always come in a wide size range. I'm excited to try these Reformation clothes and um, their new extended sizing, I believe goes up to a three X and a 24. Awesome. But I found when I was going through the website for a brand that is very like outwardly inclusive, it was really difficult to find things that were actually in stock. They, oh really? Yeah, they didn't have a lot that was in both of our sizes. Like I, I didn't, like sold out. You don't think they actually carried it? Some of them were sold out, and some of them they just didn't carry. So that's one thing to be considered. Also, this video was by far the most expensive size two versus size fourteen video we've done. For this video, all the clothes that we got totaled to over two thousand dollars. Oh no! Oh yeah. god! Yeah. These better be made of gold and look gorgeous. Yeah, they us. better be fantastic for that price. So I'm excited to try these on. Also, we were supposed to film this like a month ago and then I got sick and we had to reschedule. And I just saw that Carrie and Alexa I know. posted the same video. I know. So shout out to you guys. I feel like she and I are always on the same page. So I know and they're so cute. And except that they try their pants on with little booty shorts on underneath um, and I'm not putting on booty shorts. Yeah, no. Like, We'll just, we'll just go full yeah. frontal. <laughs> <laughs> so first up, we have the Sammy dress. This was $198. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know. And the thing is, it's hard because these are sustainable clothing pieces. So I think it's one of those things where like, it's less ridiculous if it was like a fast fashion company and it was $200, right. but it's still ridiculous. Like right. you can still, there are brands that make sustainable options that aren't $200. That's true. Yours is in an extra small and mine is in a 1X. Cute little wrap dress here. I like it. It looks a little bit sheer, but. Yeah, hopefully not, but probably. So let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, you got an issue in the front. I always do with these kinds of dresses. I think it's because I'm short. I like, think it's more about the shoulders and yeah. less about the boobs. Yeah, like if it just, if this was pulled up, I would love it. That would be, I'll be your mom. Thanks though, mom. That would be like perfect. Yeah. But. But, <laughs> alas, and also we were talking about it. This is like a real wrap dress. Yes, and I, I say I like wrap dresses, but what I actually like are fake wrap dresses. Yeah, this is scary. <laughs> Dude, one pull and you're like. Wah! Yeah, you're literally just like open. <laughs> yes. And even this like is a little scary. Yeah, if it's like just a little bit too small on you, you're like one slit away from just showing everything. <laughs> What do you think? You know, I don't hate this dress at all. Like if I tried this on in a store, I'd be like, oh, this is cute. I like this. If I had to like wear it for a video or something, I'd be like, yeah, I feel cute. But I don't think I would spend, you know, $150. 
What do you or think wait, about the material? how much was this? This was more than 150, wasn't it? Yeah, actually this was 198, oh, we just checked. Oh no. So if I tried this on and it was maybe $30, I'd be like, okay, yeah, this is cute. I'd wear this. I don't have any problems with it. But if I'm paying $200 for a dress, I have to love it. Oh, absolutely. And like, I would definitely have to go get this like altered. Right. So that's money on top of money. Right. So it'd have to be something that you're gonna wear like once a week. Yeah, although I would say the color of the print and the style is something classic that you could wear forever. That's true, that's true. And it's something that I don't think will go out of style. Yeah. You know, and also like age wise, like I feel like I could could have worn this five years ago and I feel like I could wear this in 20 years. Yeah. And it's, you know, cute and appropriate for any age really. What do you think of the material? It's like kind of itchy a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit itchy. And I just, I feel so nervous about this because the wrap for me goes to here, which is okay. Yeah. But like, it just makes me nervous. Also, I feel like the length is pretty good on me. What about you? The length is perfect, which is crazy because we're short. Right. And it was just crazy because this doesn't fit. Right. So I'm curious if on a taller woman, well, obviously it would be like real short. Yeah. So would you keep it or return it? I think I'm going to return it. Um, but I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of 10. I like it, it's cute. Yeah. I don't have any problems, but it's I not perfect. I guess I'd have to do a six because of like this situation. Yeah. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I am just giving myself a six. <laughs> I think we're all tens here, except the dresses. Yeah. Here we go. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up we have an outfit. So we have two pieces, a top and some jeans. Oh gosh. Um, these skinny jeans, these are yours. The weird thing about the sizing for these jeans is for standard size, they do like 25, 26. Okay. And then for plus sizes, they do like 14, 16, 18. So mine are in a 14, but yours are in a 25. Oh, okay. Fair so enough. So these were a little bit less expensive than I would expect compared to the first item. These were $98, which still expensive, but for jeans, not bad. Not What is that, like made well -ish? Right, yeah. Yeah. And then we have the rain top. This is mine in a 14 and yours is in a two. And these were $148 each. Oh, <laughs> for a Dalmatian top? Yeah, seriously. Yes, 101, 101 Dalmatian yeah. chic. You go. Oh my gosh, but like real cute. I I don't know how I'm gonna like this top. Look at how big the boob holes are. I was gonna mine. say, look how small the boob yeah, holes are. Which mine. I appreciate, because then it'll like, you know, fit. Like, <laughs> I mean, I like the idea of this. I just don't foresee this working. We'll find out. As soon as we put these on, Carly said that it looks like something that Victoria F would wear on The Bachelor. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, can I steal him for a sec? <laughs> So I feel like the jeans fit you well, the jeans don't fit me well. The top fits me well and doesn't fit you well. Correct. By the way, that's why we do this. Because right. people, the, I saw some comments that were like, okay, whatever, size two always fits better. And it's like, no, 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 no. That's just simply not the case. Well, and you could even have two people who are both a size two and it could fit one perfectly and one not. Yes. Because every body is built differently. Yes. Cause that top like fits your boobs great. There's so much boob room in this top and that's usually an issue for me. I feel like I almost have like a little bit of extra boob room. One of my boobs is like down to here. I mean, this one is bigger than this one, but like it doesn't, like it doesn't. It's like cutting it in see? half. It is bizarre. Like the cup on this hits right where the like cup on my bra does, like literally exactly. And then yours is like, <gasps> but then it's also like tight in here. And look how big it is in here. Yeah. This is a weird top for two bajillion dollars. Yes. I like the idea of it and it is stretchy in the back, which is nice. So it could fit like a variety of proportions. I thought you were thinking it could fit a variety of people inside of here. <laughs> you know, on come in. on in everyone, hop in. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Okay, let's talk about these pants. Yeah. I feel like they're pretty basic. So I thought that these were gonna be tight on me, but I literally look like one of those ads where it's like, hi, I lost 45 pounds on Nutrisystem. Look at how stretchy this is. Girl, I didn't know you had a belly button ring. Oh, I do, yeah. Cute. How much were these? These were expensive. These were $98. Oh, that's right. And I do, I usually like when jeans are really stretchy, but I think I would need to size down in these. And it's been probably like four or five months since I've worn a 12. I don't think I should be wearing a 12. Although this size fits me perfectly. It does. Yeah. But they're long and I just kind of feel like they look a little cheap. Yeah. The material's really nice. The proportions are weird in the plus size version. There's just a lot of extra fabric like <laughs> in the crotch. Literally this whole outfit you could put three of you in and me, I can barely 
get my boobs. Which I feel like is usually the opposite. Usually things are looser on you and tighter on me. So I don't know what's going on here. Okay, we tried on a pair of pants from Amazon that you got yes. one size fits all and these feel exactly like that. <laughs> they kind of do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they kind of do. Uh, what are you gonna give the top? The top, I I think it's like a four. Yeah, I'm gonna give the top, I'm gonna give it a five. Um, And the pants. I mean, they fit. I'm just not like, wow, these are great. Oh, okay, they fit me. I don't yeah. know why I'm being so hard on them. I'm just not like super impressed by them. No. But I'll give them like, uh, I give them an eight and a half. Oh, and I'll give them a seven flat. <laughs> Ooh, who's she? So the next one actually came on like a hanger with a garment bag. So that's how you know it's expensive. Oh man. Here is yours in a size two <gasps> and mine in a size 14. Okay, so this one is called the Butterfly Dress and it was $278. Let's jump in. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh my God, that was so good. <laughs> okay, high key though, these absolutely look like choir dresses from middle school. <laughs> you really do. And we also look like we're going to funerals. We look like either we're in eighth grade choir. Cute. Or um, we like low key just killed our husbands and Ooh. we're like at their funeral like. Oh, oh, oh. I know, like kind of like sexy. Yeah, if you put on like pearls and have yes. like a really big diamond ring. Sexy funeral chic. Okay, but if you're not going to a funeral and you're not in eighth grade choir, thoughts? Um, I actually like like this dress. I think it looks so cute on you. I don't have to wear a bra, which is always like great. That's amazing. I wish it looked that good on me. I feel like on me, it just looks awkward and I can't put my finger on why. You know what I don't like is this bottom situation. The ruffle. The ruffle, like maybe if we're wearing heels, it's like a whole different story. Yeah, at first I thought that maybe the reason I didn't like it is because it was like more fitted around my stomach. I was like, oh, do I need to size up? But it's a fitted silhouette on you it's, too. It's tight, but I like, I'm okay with tight when it's black. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's meant It's meant to be fitted at yeah. the waist like this. I thought it just was too small on me, but I don't think that's the case. Why does it look weird on me? It's because, what is this occasion? Like, yeah. it's just not something that you can like wear out. Like, <laughs> we're not like gonna go get coffee in this. Right, like when when would you wear this? Oh, it'd be good for, can you wear black to someone's wedding? I was gonna say it'd be like a good yeah. like, dress for a wedding. To the opera. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Casual Thursday at the <laughs> opera. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. Yeah. Are you? I mean, I like it. I think you should keep it. You paid for it. So, so I keep it. I'm not gonna keep it. I think you should keep it. You have to invite me to the opera. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the opera. Yeah. We'll join a choir. We'll crash a funeral. Great. And you can wear that for all three. All right, great. <laughs> then I love it. I just don't love the bottom. I think I would definitely give it like a nine. Nine? Yeah. I think it's definitely like a nine, 10 on you. It looks amazing. Yeah. I don't know why I don't like this on me because I like it on you. And there's nothing wrong with the fit, and like the sleeves fit nicely. I've heard Dude, many it's boobs. the bottom. You think I so? I swear it's the bottom. If that was longer and didn't have the ruffle, it would be like a like sexy like formal dress. Yeah, maybe I, I don't know. I think for me, I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Just honestly, for me personally, nothing wrong with it. I just can't put my finger on why I don't like it. Next up, for forty eight dollars, we have the Bardot top in an extra small. And a 1X. Bardot? Bardot. It's not Bardot. Bardot. Wow, this looks like it could have come from Forever 21. It does. It, it's soft though. It is soft. It does feel soft. I will give you that. And then on the bottom, the B skirt, and it was $148. I love her. Yeah? She's cute. There you go. And yes. no, no, there you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, she's so cute. I like the idea of this, but yeah. I'm worried that the length is gonna make me look frumpy. Always, when yeah. you're short and you try to pull off this midi like look. It just becomes like a brutal. prairie skirt. Correct, <laughs> brutal. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, so I think what I'm realizing with Reformation is there's nothing wrong with it, it's just not perfect for the price. I feel like it's just not for either of us. Yeah, and that could be a like proportions thing. It could be a style thing. It could be a combination of things. It could be a short girl thing. Exactly. Like I, I think there are people out there who Reformation is probably perfect for. Yeah, and, Victoria you know, F. <laughs> What do you think? You know, I would actually say that this one is probably the best for me in terms of fit, style, and sizing. Like the the skirt fits me 
perfectly. Yeah. Like, I was a little bit worried because it's not stretchy. It's not adjustable. It's like, it either zips perfectly. Right. Or it doesn't. Yeah. And I think on both of us. Yeah, it fits It's like, fine. great. It's a little, like, clingy. I just don't. Yeah. Sometimes this material, like, it's pretty clingy. So, like, you could see the shirt underneath. Also, I don't know what's going on with my top. Yours fits different than mine. Yeah, it's what it's not that? like square cut top, so you actually can see my strap here. But yeah. then maybe your bra is just higher cut. That's so true. I might need to wear strapless. I just like I'm not digging on this brand, and I feel sad about it. I really wanted to love everything. I did too, and I was like, yes, new clothes. And I've never tried Reformation before, and I've gotten a ton of requests to do it. And I maybe my expectations were too high, but. I don't know. I just, I love the idea of this outfit, yeah. but I also feel like there's nothing special about it. It's great that there are brands out there that are trying to be size inclusive and sustainable. I think it's also important to still be honest if things aren't as good as they should be. I would give this brand one more try. Yeah. Yeah. Do they do free returns? That's the actual big question. You know what? I will put on screen their return policy here because I actually don't know, but fingers crossed because... Yeah, uh, I think they do. But what do you think about each individual piece? Um, I don't love this top. I think this is weird. I don't... I don't know if it's a style thing, a fit thing. Yeah. Like, I... If I'm going to just give both of these a rating, I would give the skirt a five and the top a four? Yeah, the skirt, I'm actually gonna give like an eight. Are you gonna, would you keep that? I think I might keep this skirt. Yeah. I love having long skirts like this that are so cute and trendy because you can wear shorts underneath and not have to deal with the chub rub, which is great. Ooh. And I feel like I could tuck things into this or yeah. I could wear it with like a tied band tee, make it a little bit more casual. This is the one piece from this video I think I'm gonna keep. And the it also- The length is good on you. Yeah, the length is good and I like the way it fits me. I like the way it hits. The top is just nothing special. For the price, the top is like... Yeah, the top I'm gonna return. For this, I would say the skirt runs either right on size or maybe half a size big. Um, and then the top to me feels like a true to size fit. Oh, uh, well, we can't say we didn't try. Yeah, we did try. Um, and we were a little unimpressed. A little yeah. underwhelmed, actually, I yeah. would say. Yeah, I feel like we both walked away with like one piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna keep the black dress? Do you think black dress or, or black jeans? Um, I think both. I say keep both. Let's wait till we try on clothes for my video and see if you like anything. Then we'll make a deal. That's a good idea. Okay. So make sure you guys go out and check Lisa's video where we tried on the same outfits in our respective sizes from H&M's Conscious Line. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will put a card right up there and a link in the description to our playlist with all our size two versus size 14 videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Oh, my absolute pleasure. These are always my favorite videos. So same no. They're so fun. I Love, love you. you Happy collab anniversary. Happy collab anniversary to many more years of putting on clothes that don't really fit us. Metaphorical champagne. Cheers. <laughs> Bye.